Hello there, welcome to my views on news. Uh, two news stories for you, three rather. First one is about the kidnapping. An Amhara regional, senior regional government official's family has been kidnapped near Bahirdar regional capital. Who is behind this incident? It seems that the conflict between Fano and uh, government is going to turn deadlier from now on. Secondly, uh, who killed Wubante uh, Abate? Fano fighters claim that the killer, the spy, has been killed by Fano fighters. Thirdly, Military issued a statement a few hours ago about death of Wubante Abate, South Gondar Fano commander. What did military say? Who announced the death of uh, Wubante Abate on military side? How many were killed? Where was he killed? There are two videos yesterday. Now I want to share what military is saying. Uh, allegations uh, by military against Wubante. Uh, we'll have a look at that. First of yours, uh, uh, an Amhara regional government's family, government official's family has been kidnapped. The incident happened uh, near Bahirdar Amhara regional capital. It happened yesterday after Wubante Abate's death was announced by a Fano groups. So, this incident seems to be linked to Wubate Abante's death, it seems. Because when yesterday Fano uh, groups announced the death of Wubante Abate, we saw statements from Gondar Fano, Gujjum Fano, Shoa Fano, Wollo Fano. All these Fano groups issued video statements too and they announced the start of uh, Operation Wubante, operation to take revenge uh, for the death of Wubante Abate, South Gondar Fano commander. And since then, uh, we have been receiving reports of clashes in different parts of the Amhara region. Uh, I told you that uh, attacks are going to intensify on prosperity party members, uh, military officials government official, their families as well. So that is why I personally think that uh, this Amhara regional government's families kidnapping is linked to uh, uh, Wubante Abante's death. Uh, the man whose family has been kidnapped is uh, from Amhara regional communication department, communication wing, which issues statements. Uh, stays in touch with media and briefs the people about the performance, the uh, position of Amhara regional government. His name is uh, Vandvosan Lagasse. Vandvosan Lagasse worked as the advisor to Amhara regional president too in the past, but now it, uh, I heard he's working uh, in Amhara regional communication affairs bureau. Where was his family kidnapped? His family was kidnapped in Abemado near Bahirdar. His wife and one kid has been kidnapped. No statement from Fano fighters so far. Uh, and Fano fighters won't issue a statement, by the way. They won't uh, admit that they have kidnapped the family of Vadvosan uh, uh, Lagasse. Either they are is some criminal gang which is behind this uh, incident. It's a case of kidnapping for ransom or Fano, one Fano group, some Fano group carried out this operation and they kidnapped the regional government officials family. Let's see, but since Fano groups are not likely to admit that they have kidnapped Van Vosan Lagasse's family. You won't see an official confirmation. Uh, the preliminary information which I got indicates that uh, reportedly a Fano group is behind this kidnapping. I told you last night in last night's live chat that uh, Fano groups are not interested in seizing territory now. 
they want to take revenge they will attack prosperity party members uh, security officials their families as well so this is first incident it seems which is linked to uh, Bante Abate's uh, killing by Ethiopian military in the Amhara region. Secondly, viewers, uh, Fano fighters yesterday uh, showed pictures of the man who spied uh, on uh, the activities of Bante Abate and who allegedly uh, assassinated Wubante Abate. His name is Sise Yardao. This picture was released by Fano fighters yesterday, and the man Sise Yardao has been killed by Fano fighters. Uh, who is Sise Yardao? Uh, Sise Yardao became member of South Gondar Fano. It is being said by Fano groups that Sise worked for the government. Uh, he was. Uh, a spy, an undercover agent of the Ethiopian National Defense Force of the Prosperity Party. But he deceived Fano fighters, became part of the South Gondar Fano, and uh, then he shared details of Ubate Abate's movement uh, with the military. By the way, now uh, Fano, uh, senior Fano commanders are considering, or they're being told to consider. Uh, reduction in their public exposure in their movement. It is being uh, suggested that top FANO leadership should only plan military operations. They should uh, uh, work to secure logistics for FANO fighters, but they shouldn't be on front lines. Ubante Abate died because uh, he was on front line. He was in Hamusat, where he was leading from the front, and he died there. He was killed there. Fano commanders are being advised now that they should uh, decrease their public visibility and they should be at a distance from battle fronts. Otherwise, they could be more, uh, other Fano commanders could be in danger as well. But the struggle of the, the the nature of this struggle is that it would be difficult for these Fano commanders to be at a distance from battle fronts. They'll have to there, they, they'll have to lead their fighters, it seems. Thirdly, we heard the Ethiopian military a few hours ago issued its first statement of the death of Ubante Abate. What is military saying? How was Ubante Abate killed? Who announced this news? A colonel of Ethiopian National Defense Force announced the death of Ubante Abate. Colonel Johar, his name, Colonel Johar Diko, he is from uh, Northern Command. Did Colonel Johar lead the operation which led to the death of uh, Ubante Abate or did he just announce the death? I don't know, but it is the colonel, uh, Colonel Johar, whose pictures have been released by the military. So he's in charge of the area where uh, uh, Bubante was killed. According to the colonel, the military, 22 other Fano fighters were killed. So it wasn't just uh, Bubante Abate, but uh, 22 other Fano fighters too. And it happened in Hamusat. That is what we reported yesterday. Amusat is on Bahirdar to Gujum, Bahirdar to Gondar Road, close to Bahirdar. Fano fighters uh, have been carrying out attacks along the road, Bahirdar to Gondar Road. They have carried out attacks in Ratha too. And they have been working in collaboration with uh, Gujum Fano in this area. Uh, so, the incident, uh, the attack by Fano fighters happened in Hamusa. There was fighting, and uh, Wubante Abate uh, was killed in this clash. The military claims that uh, Wubante Abate was the main leader in the area, South Gondar. He was recruiting youths. He was robbing, allegedly robbing people. He was uh, threatening, harassing people, and he uh, was raising money for Fano fighters uh, by contacting Daspa. These are uh, general allegations which are always leveled by Ethiopian military against uh, Fano fighters, Fano commanders.
ملٹری ہیز کنفرمڈ وہ باتیں وہ بانتے بات از ڈیتھ افیشلی ناؤ واٹ از نیکسٹ کوشچن از واٹ از نیکسٹ بیکاز وی ہیو سین اسٹیٹمنٹس فور اسٹیٹمنٹس سنس لاسٹ نائٹ گوندر فانو گج فانو ولو فانو شو فانو آل ایشوڈ سیپریٹ اسٹیٹمنٹس ویڈیو اسٹیٹمنٹس اناؤنسنگ ٹو ٹیک ریوینج فار دا ڈیتھ آف بان دا بات what will they do what will be the nature of this revenge will they intensify attacks on military on pp on town cities that we'll see in coming days but uh, i think security situation in the amhara region could deteriorate in coming days let's see what happens thank you for watching